everybody, and welcome back to the Entertainment Brick Show. Today, we are continuing on with my LEGO Star Wars Disney Plus TV series LEGO video game level ideas. That is quite a mouthful, by the way. So, um, yeah, today we're doing Andor. We're going to start up Andor. Andor is going to be split into two videos here, six levels each for each episode, of course. Um, Andor was a long show. Andor I enjoyed. I really did enjoy it. I struggle to say it is the best Star Wars show just because I have a really soft spot for Mandalorian. I love the Mandalorian. Um, but, you know, it, it's up there. It's definitely it's definitely right behind it in Mando so far with the Star Wars shows just because it is a really good show. And um, with that being said, there's a lot of talking in Andor. There's a lot of discussion. There's a lot of politics. There's a lot of planning. There is some action. There's definitely some action in a couple episodes, but it's a lot of like building and then having a really great payoff and then building again, having a really great payoff in each like episode arc almost. So um, it was a little difficult to make some level parts, even though these episodes were fairly long. They were like, I want to say like 40 minutes to just about, I think over an hour. No, I don't want to say over an hour, probably about 40 minutes to an hour. And Still, it was a little difficult to kind of, like, make level stuff, level, like, scenes and parts to play through in this game just because um, there's a lot of talking. There's just a lot of discussion. There's a lot of talking about politics and planning and stuff. So I really had to get very creative and unique with this LEGO game here, or this part of the LEGO game. Um, and I really had to kind of, you know, stretch a lot of things here. So... This isn't going to be the most cohesive, kind of like true to the episode kind of thing, just again, because it is just kind of difficult to do with this in this case. Um, but I did my best. I, I hope that you still enjoy it here. And um, yeah, I'm excited to get into it. There's a lot of interesting stuff that happens here. So let us get going with episode one. In typical fashion, I again forgot to mention the rules of these videos. If you are new to these kinds of videos here that I do on my channel, um, basically what I did is I designed levels based off of Andor, the Andor TV series in this case, in this video's case, with each episode turned into a traditional Lego game level with three separate parts per level to play through, where, and I, and in the video here, I outline the part of the episode slash level that you play through, the characters you play as, and the objective of the level that you're playing to achieve, basically. Um, and those are the rules, uh, of this kind of video series. I have a ton of these videos on the channel. There's Marvel ones, there's Star Wars ones. I got a ton of them just because I, you know, enjoy doing them. I enjoy making these videos and sharing my ideas. Um, and again, if you clicked on this one, then you're watching Andor. So spoilers for Andor, absolutely without a doubt. We're going to be going through every episode here. So definitely spoilers, starting with episode one, also level one here, which is called Casa, which is from the episode, you know, that's uh, the episode title It's Casa. So part one of level one here is called Murder at Morlena One, and you play as Kravis, the Morlena One officer, and Verlo, the Morlena One officer, and the objective here is to start off with a boss fight against Cassian Andor. So I thought this was kind of a unique, more unique idea. You're playing as kind of like the, vic I don't know how you'd want to say this, because they kind of were villains, but they also were kind of like victims of an awful crime. This show is much darker than the typical Star Wars show, so there's going to be a lot more to, like, you know, break down, I guess, here. But, yeah, this first part is more Murder at Morlena 1. Again, you're going to be playing as both the officers here, the Morlena 1 officers, Kravis and Verlo, and again, the objective is to have a boss fight with Cassie and Andor. Um, basically, I did this because Cassie and Andor didn't really have a partner alongside him when he was in this scene, so I was like, well, what if we flip the perspective to the characters who are considered the villain characters in this case, even though Cassie and Andor did the villainous act in this part of the in this scene of the episode. So yeah, there's that part one. Part two is called Favors on Ferrix, and this is where you play as Cassie and Andor in his episode kind of his episode one design, and you also play as the droid B2 EMO, which is Cassie and Andor and or the Andor family droid kind of. And the objective there is to complete missions for characters on Ferrix. So how I'm envisioning this is it's going to be kind of like a semi-open open area, right? It's going to be like a wide, broader area where you're basically going to be meeting with certain characters, um, certain characters in the from the episode here, and they're all going to need you to do something. And you solve puzzles, do a couple things, you find whatever, they, 
find whatever they need, accomplish whatever tasks they need you to accomplish. And, uh, excuse me, and then that kind of, like, once you complete that mission, you move on to the next mission, move on to the next mission, and then you complete that level. So, uh, just for some mission ideas here in this part of the level, one of them is to find Brasso's gloves, another is to help Bix with the engine, and then the other, the last one is to find Vetch some work. So those are all characters from Andor who were uh, in this scene or, you know, kind of around these scenes, and they all, you know, in this case, in this Lego games case, need you to go and help them find a couple things to, um, or, you know, solve puzzles and complete objectives and complete missions to move on to the next part. And then the last part of level one here, part three of level one, is the uh, scene, the, the contact the buyer scene here where you're going to be utilizing the Lego Star Wars, the Sky, I mean, um, the Clone Wars, Lego Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars, change character, change setting kind of scene there, whatever, mechanic of that game there. And on one side, you'll be playing as Bix Kaleen, and the objective is to climb the tower to contact the buyer. So kind of how I'm envisioning this is as Bix, you're going to be solving puzzles and such to kind of make your way to that tower that she climbed at the end of the episode to send out the message to the buyer. And um, you're going to have to kind of basically like run through that whole uh, building in those alleyways to eventually reach that tower. Then you're going to have to climb that tower as well to reach the top. Then on the other side here, you're going to be playing as Cassian Andor again from episode one here, where the objective is to swap out the ship log. So at the end of the episode, Cassian Andor goes out to a shipyard run by, or not run by, but overseen by Pegla, I think the guy's name was, the character's name was. And as Cassian Andor... You're going to be basically trying to like, you're going to be basically the area that you're going to be playing as is uh, around a ship and you're going to have to be like solving certain puzzles and stuff like that around this ship to kind of like um, swap out this ship log that they talked about during this part of the episode. So that is level one. Now let's move on to level two. Next up is level two and or episode two based off of episode two. And the episode is called That Would Be Me, also the title of the level. And for part one of level two, is this uh, the the scene where we're introduced to the Canari? I think they're I believe they're called, and the objective there is to go through the woods to investigate the crash site. Ah, uh, sorry, the Canari were introduced in episode one, but this is kind of when they started to actually do like a full blown mission here. So you play as Casa or Cassian Andor when he was a child, and you also play as the character. I got this from the credits. I don't know if this is necessarily what the character's name is. Uh, Alpha One, who is kind of the leader of this Canari scouting group that go out to go and find, to investigate this ship crash site here. Again, you're playing as Casa in Alpha 1 here, and basically what I'm thinking is you're just going to be kind of in this forced area from that was from the episode, and you have an objective just to kind of solve puzzles and explore this forestry area, this kind of like linear forestry path, er, or linear path of this forestry area um, as both these characters that you play as, and you're going to be solving puzzles and stuff like that, to just kind of continue on, and eventually you reach a point where you've uh, reached the crash site, and then that kind of triggers a cutscene. Then for part two of level two here is um, uh, another part on Ferrex here, where you're going to be playing as Tim Carlo. Uh, this will be utilizing the, sorry, this will be utilizing the Lego Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars, swap character, swap um, setting, whatever, from, uh, mechanic from that game, as well as it was used in uh, level one of this here too as well. And on one side, you'll be playing as Tim Carlo, and um, his objective is to sneak around the bar to keep an eye on Bix and Cassian Andor. So in the scene, basically, Bix and Cassian Andor were meeting with each other at this like bar, or this diner, whatever this was, and basically Tim Carlo was spying on them. So as weird as that kind of is to play through, I, I really struggled with this episode to find stuff to play through. Um, with that, you know, you're basically playing as Tim Carlo, and you're basically going to be sneaking around this area trying to basically get a good look at Bix and Cassian. You'll be solving puzzles. It's mostly like a, uh, a stealth kind of part of the mission, sort of. And then on the other side here, you're playing as Marva Andor, which is Cassian Andor's mother, and the objective there is to search for B2 EMO. So in the episode, part of the episode here, Marva or B2 EMO is not really in the house, I don't think, or she can't find him, and Marva Andor goes in search of him, eventually landing in Cassian Andor's room, and finding a uh, blow dart stick, which prompts the next scene. And um, yeah, so basically Marva Andor, you're going to be playing as Marva Andor, kind of going through the Andor household, solving puzzles and such, to eventually reach Cassian Andor's room, where once you kind of find that blow dart stick, 
that's kind of when the next um, part of the level here begins. And that is part three, which is the um, infected soldier part here, where again, you're going to be playing as Casa and Alpha One as the two characters to play as. And the objective is to have a boss fight with that infected soldier that was attacking the Canari um, or whatever. Yeah, that, yeah, attacking those those people on the Canari planet um, uh, during that scene, basically, where he was like shooting. He was all like yellow and stuff. Crazy, crazy scene. And again, you're playing as Casa and Alpha One having a boss fight with this infected soldier character in that little crash site forest area. And that is level two. That is level two. Now let's move on to level three. Next, we have episode three or level three called Reckoning. This is an awesome episode. This was such an amazing episode, actually. I really loved this episode so much. Such great action moments. Great, like, characters. Amazing. We've got, like, Luth and Rail and Andor working together. So cool. So, yeah. Level 3 was pretty great. And um, we're going to start with part th part 1 of level 3 here. And that is the crash, the raiding the crash kind of scene. We're going to be playing as Marva Andor in the flashback. Clem Andor in the flashback, as well as B2EMO. I would have say he was in the flashback too, but he doesn't really change too much. Um, but the objective there is to chase after Casa throughout the ship. So basically in the scene, Casa goes to explore the ship that crashed, and uh, he encounters Marva Andor and Clem Andor and B2EMO also trying to raid this crash site, and um, they find Casa, and he's kind of going crazy. They try to you know get him and whatever. So, just to kind of make this a playable part of the level here, like something to do during the level, an objective there, is basically, Casa is going to be running out, running throughout this crashed, sh crashed ship, if I can speak properly, he'll be running throughout this crashed ship, and again, you'll be playing as Marva, Clem, and B2MO, basically chasing after him, solving puzzles and such, to make your way to the next part of the ship to kind of, like, try and catch up to him, basically. So, that is uh, part one. Part two of level three is the box, that, that scene with the box, where basically you're going to be playing as Cassian Andor and Luthan Rail. First time you play as Luthan Rail. And the objective is to escape that work site on Ferrix. So basically in the scene, Luthan Rail and Cassian Andor confront each other at this work site on Ferrix in like this building with like a bunch of hanging engines and stuff, which was crazy scene. And they get attacked by Morlena 1 officers. They have a basically a shootout in this sequence and they eventually escape the um, work site building and move out into like the open area kind of so you're gonna be basically playing through all of that that whole sequence is gonna be played through in this part again you're gonna be starting in that building with the hanging engines you're gonna have a whole shootout scene you're gonna have to shoot down some of the engines to basically make them fall to destroy some more Lena one officers then you're gonna escape that building and go out into the open area we're gonna be you know still being hunted by those Morlena 1 officers, you're going to be like running through and stuff like that, so that whole scene is going to be played out in part 2, uh, this is going to be a much more of like a, an action sequence for this kind of level here, and then in part 3, you're also going to be playing as Cassian Andor and Luthan Rail, and this is kind of like the escape sequence of this uh, part of the episode, where you're going to be playing, or you're, again, you're going to be playing as Cassian Andor and Luthan Rail, and the objective is to defeat, have a boss fight here, with Cyril Karn and Linus Mosk, who are the two, like, main Morlena 1 officers that were going after Cassian Andor, and in this case, Luthan Rail as well. So, I know there wasn't exactly, like, a, a fight sequence between these four characters, or, you know, the Morlena 1 officers and Cassian Andor and Luthan Rail, um, but just to kind of add some playable part to this scene, it will be a full-blown boss fight in the streets of Ferrix against Cyril Karn and Linus Mosk. So, that'd be kind of fun. I think that'd be kind of a cool boss fight. Those are both two characters, Seal Karn and Linus Mosk, who are pretty cool villain characters for the series. And, um, yeah, you're going to have a pretty cool boss fight with them. You're going to be fighting, you know, Morlena 1 officers as, like, grunt characters just to fight. And, um, yeah, so that's level 3. Now let's move on to level 4. Now we are on to level 4, which is the level called, or episode as well as episode 4, called Aldani, which is the planet that they travel to here. And um, this one is much more of like a puzzle oriented level just because this is an, an example, a great example of an episode where there isn't a, a crazy amount of action sequences. It's more of just kind of meeting with people and meeting new characters and, and getting characters and building a, um, a connection to these characters and basically setting up for what is a pretty great payoff in episode six. So 
Level 4 here, part 1, is the Rebellion kind of sequence here, where you're going to be playing as Cassian Andor, and you're also going to be playing as Vel Sartha. Uh, I believe that's how you say that name. And the objective is to go through the plains of Aldani while avoiding TIE Fighters. So kind of what I'm thinking here is that basically you're going to have an objective far off into like the the distance, I guess, right? Where you basically have to reach to trigger the next cutscene and then tr and go to the next part of the level here. And you're basically going to be playing as Vel Sartha and Cass Cassian Andor, and you're going to be using those characters' abilities to find cover and like find different places to hide and, you know, stuff like that and like solve puzzles to kind of find places to hide so that when TIE Fighters kind of fly down over you, you can hide and escape them and you don't get like destroyed or something. I don't know. I don't really know how it would work in a Lego game, but I'm kind of thinking like there's going to be a, um, a time almost like a timer maybe. Oh, actually, that'd be really cool. If there's a timer at the top of the screen that maybe says like 30 seconds or something like that or a minute or something like that, where again, you're going to be playing as Cassian Andor and Vel Sartha and you're going to be uh, having to solve puzzles really, really quickly to then hide and escape the TIE Fighters that come in after the timer goes off. Kind of what I'm thinking there. Just kind of make it, you know, something unique, something interesting. Then for part two of level four is going to be um, Rail's relics here. The, the relic kind of place on Coruscant that uh, Luthen Rail had. And this is going to be utilizing the Lego Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars game, uh, change character, change setting mechanic. This is also going to be used, I mean, it was used previously in other uh, levels as well in this part of the game, but this is also, it's also going to be used here, where on one side, you're going to be playing as Cassian Andor in his, you know, episode four outfit or whatever, you know, however he looks in that episode. And the objective for him is he has to help the group or the, the Aldani group with uh, certain tasks and certain objectives. So for instance, you're going to have to fix Karis's manual navigator somehow, find Skeen's knife around the area, and uh, also find medical bandages for Clint Akaz and find ammo for Terramin. Um, so, basically, if you don't know, in the episode, Vel Sartha and Cassian Andor come to like this little village area, basically, where the group is basically hiding out, preparing for an attack on that Imperial base on Aldani. And, um, you know, they're not, they're not really too uh, good on the idea that um, what's his name? Uh, Cassian Andor is just joining the group, right? So you're gonna be basically just playing as Cassian Andor, trying to solve missions around that little camp area, um, just to kind of get a lay of the land. It's gonna be a very open area so that you can kind of solve these puzzles and stuff like that, and eventually find whatever the characters need, solve all those puzzles, and there you go. But then on the other side here, you're gonna be playing as Luthen Rail in his Coruscant outfit, as well as Mon Mothma. And this one's actually a, a unique idea that I had to come up with just because it was super difficult to kind of think of a, 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 a playable scene in this part of the episode where you're going to be finding a way to open the door to the back room of the Coruscant Relics shop, I don't know, without Chloris, Mon Mothma's driver, noticing. So what I'm thinking here is player will have to hit a button, a, your, whoever, you know, you playing will have to hit a certain button or a certain button combination which will allow Mon Mothma and um, Luthen Rail to start talking with each other, right? Like, like dialogue begins. And then um, there's going to be like, I don't know exactly how this is going to work because I really didn't map this out in my head completely, but like I'm thinking there's going to be like a meter, right? Where it's going to be like a meter that Chloris has where he'll it'll be like three separate stages. Like one stage is like, oh, he doesn't notice you at all. Stage two is like he's getting a little suspicious and stage three is like he just noticed you. He totally saw that you're trying to like find a way to kind of get to this back room area. And um, that's kind of what I'm thinking like Chloris is getting suspicious. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. If you've seen the part of the episode, it's probably a little bit more clear of what I'm trying to explain. But basically, again, you're going to be playing as like Mon Mothma and um, uh, Luthen Rail. You can be kind of walking about the area. You're going to come up to certain um, relics and stuff like that within the shop, and you're going to have to hit a button to kind of start talking about these relics to bring down Chloris's uh, meter, that uh, suspicion meter or something like that. I don't know what you want to call it. But then once, you know, he's like turned away and he's more, you know, he's focusing on his, ten his attention on something else, you then continue on as Mon Mothma and Luthen Rail to kind of solve, continue to solve a puzzle to get the back room door open. So... That makes any sense. I made sense in my head, basically. That's kind of how I'm going to go with it here. But that is part two, long part there. Then part three of level four is the plan, basically. We're going to be playing as Cassian Andor, 
Lieutenant Gorn, and Vel Sartha, and the objective is to find the parts of the model that Karis made and rebuild it. So this is going to be much more of a puzzle-oriented scene where you're going to be in like the little hut in the camp area, and the objective is to solve puzzles to basically get pieces, Lego pieces, to build into that uh, model of the of the Imperial base so that you can kind of like go into a cutscene and, and do the plans. So this is going to be much more of a puzzle-oriented part here, as most of this level was, and again, you should be kind of like solving puzzles and using certain abilities to uh, uh, get pieces to kind of like rebuild um, the Imperial base model one part at a time, kind of, is kind of how I'm envisioning it. So there'll probably be like maybe like three or six parts that you have to kind of find, build them, and that's one part. That's one part of the objective down, and you have to go solve another puzzle, go and get more pieces, build those, bam, another part down. That's how I'm envisioning it, and once it's all built, that'll prompt a cutscene, and then that'll end this level. Next up is level five, or episode five here, which is called The Axe Forgets. So level five, part one of level five here, is going to be the scene, the hide the weapons scene, where you're going to be playing as Cassian Andor, uh, and his look from episode five, you're going to be playing as Karis Nemec, Arvel Skeen, and Taraman Barcona, uh, all four of those characters, and the objective here is to hide all the weapons in the area, basically. So, if you don't remember from the episode, there is a scene where Cassian Andor, Karis Nemec, Arvel Skeen, and Terramin Barcona are practicing their Imperial walk, basically. Like, they have their weapons out, they're, they're ready, they're preparing, you know, they're practicing their, their like, uh, march, I should say, their Imperial march. And um, then, well, as they're doing that, TIE Fighters fly by, basically, and they get, you know, obviously, they're like, there's their weapons out, and they have, you know, all their stuff out, and they have to go and hide it all, basically, very, very quickly. So, I kind of extended that scene, sort of, just to kind of make it more of a playable part in the level, where there's going to be different weapons around the area that, you, that you're in, that, around that little campsite area, and you have to go and solve puzzles to basically hide them all, kind of, is how I'm envisioning this. Uh, again, it's going to be much more of an extended scene, but you're going to be, you know, having different abilities with all your different characters, and you're going to have to kind of find certain uh, ways to solve puzzles and stuff like that to hide all the certain weapon uh, collections so that the TIE Fighters basically don't see them. So that is part one, again, much more pu puzzle-oriented level. Part two is the scene uh, when they're walking and Arvel Skeen steals Cassian Andor's, uh, like, necklace thing, I forget what it's called. I think it was a kyber crystal necklace or something. So you're going to be playing as Cassian Andor, and you're also going to be playing as uh, Terramin Barcona, and the objective here is to defeat Arvel Skeen. So you're going to actually have a boss fight with Arvel Skeen here, um, which is just kind of, I don't know. I, I, again, this, this was probably the hardest episode to make a part off of, I think, or like a level off of. Close second with like episode 9, I think it was. Um, which was really hard to make like level parts to it. So I kind of had to stretch some things a little bit. But, you know, a boss fight, you throw a boss fight in there. Why not? Let's throw a little boss fight in there. So you're going to be basically on top of that uh, Aldani Mountain, whatever that kind of was, where they were hanging out bef the night before. And you're going to be, again, playing as Cassian Andor and Terramin Barcona. And you're going to be having to have a boss fight with Arvel Skeen. And um, once you defeat him, then it just goes right into the next part there. Part three uh, here, which is the signaling scene there. Where you're going to be playing as, uh, it is going to be utilizing the Lego Star Wars through the Clone Wars change character, change setting um, uh, mechanic of that video game. And you're going to be playing as Lieutenant Gorn on one side. And the objective as Lieutenant Gorn is to reach the spot to use the binoculars on the Imperial base. So kind of how I'm envisioning this is that you're going to be having to solve puzzles as Lieutenant Gorn and stuff like that. And basically be um, very discreet about making your way over to like this corner area where you're going to be able to use binoculars to go and spy out and see where the group is hiding out. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there as that character. And then on the other side, you're going to be playing as Terramin Barcona once again to reach the spot to signal Gorn. So on this little mountain camp area, I'm thinking you should be playing as Terramin to kind of solve puzzles and climb your way up the mountain a little bit to eventually reach a spot where you're going to be able to signal Lieutenant Gorn. So, you know, both these characters are going to be kind of playing in tandem here because... You're going to have to basically, once you're, once as playing as Lieutenant Gorn, let's say you make it to the spot to use the binoculars, maybe your uh, co-op character here hasn't made it to the spot to signal Gorn, right? So you're going to have to kind of wait on them and do certain things and wait for them to solve puzzles and stuff like that. So, yeah. One side is Lieutenant Gorn solve, uh, reaching the spot to use binoculars on the Imperial base. Others, Terramin Barcona, 
reaching the spot to signal Lieutenant Gorn. So that is level five, the axe forgets. Now let's move on to level six. Next up, or last but not least here, is level six or episode six, which is called The Eye. So this is actually a really cool episode. This is probably maybe my favorite. No, maybe not my favorite. Maybe not my favorite, but definitely up there as like top three, top five of the of Andor so far. And um, this one's a lot of action sequences. So this is going to be really cool. So starting with part one here of level six is um, the like uh, the, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Like Soldiers of the Empire kind of scene where you're going to be playing as Clint Akaz and Vel Sartha. And the objective here is to infiltrate the Imperial outpost and execute the plan. So in the beginning, basically, of this episode, we see Klintikaz and Vel Sartha basically infiltrate the Imperial outpost base on their own. And they go out and they um, have to kind of like climb it up. I think they have to, what, what, I forget what they did. They like jam the signal tower or something like that. And then they had to escape. So you're going to basically be playing through that entire sequence where you're going to be, you know, climbing up the Imperial tower or the Imperial base wall. Then you're going to have to go and like sneak around that area to go and disable the signal tower. And then you're going to have to escape as well in this whole part uh, of part one here. So it's going to be much more like puzzle slash stealth sort of. So again, like climbing up and escaping, you're going to be doing more puzzle stuff to kind of find your way to escape and, and climb up. But then in that, that middle part where you're kind of going over to disable the um, signal tower, you're going to have to be much more in a stealth kind of position because there's going to be you know, stormtroopers and Imperial officers walking around and you can't get noticed by them. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking for part one. Part two of level six here is when, you know, that whole sequence where the plan goes wrong. So you're going to be playing as Cassian and or undercover is just kind of how I put him down as um, just because he's going to have like the Imperial outfit on. And you're also going to be playing as Chorus Nemec undercover as well. And the objective is to wipe out the Imperial complex. So in the episode, basically the plan goes wrong, you know, and, um, there's a huge shootout in this Imperial base. They get as many credits as they possibly can, and then they have to escape. Um, and in this sequence, again, you're going to be playing as Cassian Andor and Karis Nemec, and you're basically just going to be going throughout this whole basement area of this Imperial complex where they're loading on credits to the ship, and you're ba basically just going to have to like defeat a bunch of soldiers. It's going to be much more of an action-oriented sequence. You're going to be shooting you know, Imperial officers and stuff like that that are coming out to attack. Um, you're going to have to basically like take cover in certain areas, solve some smaller puzzles to, you know, find cover so that you can get across areas and take down certain soldiers and enemies, um, as well as, you know, trying to transfer the credits onto the ship as well. So that is what I'm thinking for part two. Part three is the, um, the, the escape sequence, basically, where it's going to be utilizing the Lego Star Wars three, the Clone Wars change character, change setting mechanic of that game. And on one side, you're going to be playing as Andor flying that ship. I don't remember exactly what that ship was called, but you're going to be flying that ship. And um, the objective is to basically fly through the Eye of Aldani event. So, you know, basically as this, you're going to be, you know, um, similar to like, I don't know, Lego Batman 2, for instance. There were like a couple of levels, like vehicle levels, where it was just kind of like a linear path that you were set on. And you just kind of have to like steer the vehicle, basically. That's kind of how I'm envisioning this. Whereas and or the ship here, you're going to be kind of like steering the vehicle, trying to dodge, you know, like the light beams. And I think they're like asteroids and stuff from what I remember. So, you know, you'd be like avoid those, fight some TIE fighters in the sky and stuff. And then on the other side, um, you're going to be playing as Vel Sartha and Arvel Skeen. And you have to find the med kit for Karis and Nemec. So the idea here is you're going to be in the back of the ship, basically, right? You're going to be in like that, that back part of the ship. And the objective is to... Um, find the med kit. So you're going to be solving puzzles to kind of search for this med kit for Karis Nemec. Meanwhile, on um, the other side is, you know, the ship, you know, play, the person who's flying the ship, you're going to have to kind of steer and stuff. And I'm maybe even thinking like when the player, you know, whatever player is playing as the, uh, as and or flying the ship, I'm thinking maybe what happens here is like when the ship turns to the left, when you're playing as Vel Sartha and Arvel Skeen, the characters will kind of like fall to the left or stuff will like kind of shift to the left. So you're going to have to kind of be working alongside your co-op player to um, turn the ship a certain way, which will reveal certain things for certain puzzles as well. So I thought maybe that could add like another layer of um, challenge, I guess, to this part of the level. And yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking for level six there. And that is it for this video.
So, uh, yeah, let's wrap this up. So, there you have it. Those are the first six episodes slash levels of the Andor series. We still have another six to go, which will be coming up in another video, basically part two here. Kind of like how I did with Mando, where I separated them into two, um, two separate episodes, or two separate videos. Same thing with uh, Andor here. It's going to be two separate videos, where in the next video, I will be covering the next six levels. So, yeah, that is all that. Those are the first six levels. That is... Uh, Let's see here. That is that is Casa through the eye. It's weird. It's weird to say. Anyways, but anyways. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Those are all the levels. We're gonna continue this later on in another video. So if you enjoyed that video, do the comment YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.